Hello, my name is Amy Atker and welcome to my channel. So I am using a palette that Colored Rain sent to me. Thank you, Colored Rain. Still totally excited, still humbled. I am still amazed. And I haven't gotten through all the palettes that you sent me yet. Again, absolutely humbled. Now, on to the, the review. And it's easy to be excited about a product someone sends you when they're off the hook great. So I don't have to use a base or a primer when I'm doing my eye looks. I can just use the my normal foundation and go. There's not a whole lot of products out there that could actually do that. So today we are using the Colored Rain Smoke Show palette. It has six different colors here. A nice mirror, sleek packaging, which you gotta love. And I will say I've used all the colors except for this one here. I have, um, maybe not exactly today, so today I've used this color and these three up here. I wanted to show you guys how to create a, a neutral eye but get a really good pop of color. If you're like me when I first started playing with makeup, I was really afraid of color. And one of the ways to play with color is go ahead and do a neutral eye on top and use that pop of color underneath. And then it's a little less intimidating. So I wanted to create an eye look using this palette that could be used every day and it's not intimidating. Mm-hmm, not intimidating. So today you're gonna see how I created this eye look using this palette. You're in the right spot, so stay tuned. Come for the review, stay for the tutorial. All right, I'm gonna refilm this eye look because I just am. I haven't put down primer because these colored rains don't require it. We're gonna pick up some flammable. And while the color is mostly concentrated in the crease, I am bringing it up and kind of diffusing that color as I go towards the eyebrow, but, uh, the eyebrow. I'm going to pick up some more flammable. I'm going to pick up some cloudy, which is my Polish daughter's name, but she does not spell it this way. And that is pigmented. Love it. Next piece is the green. If you're afraid of color, this is where. I've done a lot of neutrals, which is fantastic, but you can pick up a, a bright color, a bold color, a color that you're not comfortable with, and just use that on the lower lash line so that you're, you're putting a toe in as far as color goes, but it's not overwhelming. So we're gonna pick up this color called Showtime. Because if y'all are like me, a few years ago, I was totally afraid of trying color. Like, I'd look in a palette and go, oh my god, those colors are so amazing. But I don't know what to do with them, so I'm just going to do my normal neutral eye. Well, this gives you an opportunity to do your neutral eye where you feel confident and in control from the lid up. But the lower lash line is where you're going to play with some color and feel like you're still in control. Yeah, I've had people tell me I'm a control freak. Okay, so I think that's really helpful. Everything has blended super nice, but I am gonna take a fluffy brush and just kinda go over everything. And then we're gonna go in with eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Espresso Eyeliner. It's a lacquer liner from L'Oreal. And I'll do the false eyelashes off camera. Okay, false eyelashes on. And yeah, here we go. Kind of that final look. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Wish you could do double thumbs up. How about just one? <sighs> Anyways, I really appreciate y'all. If you can leave your comments, questions, thoughts below, I will respond. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.